Hey what's up guys, Rev here. Localizers have been a big topic of discussion on social media over the past few weeks. A long history of improper translations and obnoxious behavior on social media by localizers has finally reached a boiling point where fans are becoming much louder in their demands for better and more honest translations, as well as accountability for localizers who have long documented histories of disrespecting the source material they're being trusted with. Now for many of you, I'm sure this profile picture is like the bat signal, but instead of signaling Gotham's finest, it puts you on alert that you're about to see a horrible take regarding localizations on Twitter. Katrina has been on this channel way more than I would like, but their constant use of improper localizations in their own work, defense of improper translations by others, and just overall disdain for the content and culture of the media they are localizing is something that has bothered a lot of you. And like clockwork, they're back on their grind to make everyone dislike localizers with this tweet from two days ago. Putting it out there that Spy Family wouldn't have been half as successful as it was in the West without the absolutely stellar translation by Michelle Taimon. She perfectly captures Anya's cute speech, humorous moments, and so much characterization. And of course, they link a few screenshots of various translations Michelle made for the anime. Now let me make this clear from the jump. This is not about Michelle. She provided great translations for Spy Family, and she was clearly a contributor towards the anime success in the West. But at least half? Come on. That's like going to a 5-star restaurant, getting the best steak dinner of your life, and giving half of the credit for its success to the waiter who brought the plate from the chef to your table. While I think at least half is a bit of an exaggeration, I hope, it's still disrespectful to everyone else involved in the anime success, like the creators, the directors, the writers, the voice actors, and on and on and on. And Spy Family was already a success before all of this, with over 12 million copies of its manga in circulation before the first episode of the anime even premiered. Not to mention the fact that official English translations are only a part of its distribution. There's still translations from many other languages and fan subs out there as well. And the reason I bring all this up is because localizers already have a bad reputation in the anime community for having inflated egos. I mean, only a few months ago, Katrina was trying to get their name listed in reviews next to the creators of series she helped localize, as if that's reasonable. Point of all this being, Localizers and translators do play roles in the success of anime series, but they are obviously not the majority contributor. They are just part of a much bigger project, and I don't think any honest translators out there would want to be given that much credit for their work anyways. The Spy Family anime succeeded because it already had an established fan base in the first place, and many different talented people helped in its production. But that should be obvious to anyone without a massive ego. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.